Hey everybody, this is Dr. Craig Hansen, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Teach Aid. What we're going to do is click the big purple button to get started, and you'll notice down the bottom we've got our standalone resources. We can create an individual lesson plan or create a full unit, which is what we're going to do right now. Once you enter into the creating a new unit plan with AI section, you're going to choose your curriculum. So because I'm in New Zealand, I'm going to choose New Zealand. But if I didn't have my curriculum listed here, you could take the achievement objectives that you need and click enter standards manually. You choose the language, the grade level, the subject, and then you can paste the curriculum expectations into this box on the right hand side. So because I'm in New Zealand, I'm just going to choose the New Zealand curriculum here going to choose my grade level and then also the subject area which will be science. Once I've chosen science I just click the next step and you'll notice that the breadcrumbs move along to customization so you know where you are at all times. Now the strands that I'm going to choose is the detail within the science curriculum of New Zealand. I'm going to choose planet earth and beyond and then I'm going to choose earth's systems. Within here, if there's any other detail in terms of the curriculum achievement objectives being broken down into discrete units, you can choose them from here and then click next step. Everything is customizable by you. Now, as you can see, we have our start date and we have our end date of the unit that we're planning. I'm going to choose just one month going forward and the number of lessons, because it's science, probably two lessons a week, is going to be eight over four weeks. The lesson length, because it's grade five, is going to be 50 minutes and then I'll click the next step. You notice that we're onto our assessment information already. So we can choose to create our own type of assessment, clicking add your own option, or you can choose one of the options that's already in here. So I'm going to choose presentation just for the interest of time. If there's specific textbooks and materials and you want to copy something from that and paste it in here to help guide teach aid to follow exactly what you want, then you'd paste it into the materials and resources box. If you have some special assessment conditions, maybe there's a child who's hard of hearing, ADHD, those sorts of things, you'd pop that into this box here as well or expand the context if you want the assessment to focus maybe on your local area. You type that in there. When we click the next step, we can now customize this finally with a theme. You can add your own theme if you have one such as the Olympics or because I'm choosing Planet Earth and Beyond in the science curriculum, I'm going to choose Space and Universe. Next step, this is where we review everything. We can add anything that we want. And in the original stages, if we forgot that we're going to be doing a science unit with maths and maybe English, we can add a cross-curricular subject in here by clicking this button and then adding the subjects and the grade levels that we want as well. So down the bottom, I'm now going to click Create Unit and Teach Aid by the magical power of AI is going to create for us using a UDL pedagogical framework. Okay, so now we can see our unit plan being generated with the description, the learning goals, the success criteria, and the keywords that belong to that particular subject. All of these sections that you can see being created on the screen are customizable and editable by you. And for example, if we click into this area and click edit, we can save these changes that we make directly in here, or we can click to save the changes, and then all of the sections below will be regenerated if we choose this button here. Also, once we've got the overview done, and you can see it's very UDL, we can click Final Assessment. And when we go through and check this, any changes we make, we can choose to save them as they are. And you'll notice as we scroll down, we've got our marking rubric being generated. The marking rubric, when we click it, we can add criteria, we can regenerate it, download it, and also edit it by clicking the editing pencil on the right hand side. Also, we can see at the top here, you can see unit plan, final assessment, and also the lessons and interactive materials. You'll notice that lesson one has been generated, but lesson two and so on has not. It's waiting for us to make sure lesson one is fantastic. Each of these sections, again, can be edited and changed and regenerated. When we're happy, we pop open our interactive materials. You'll also notice that our interactive materials, we've got an auto generate button on the top on the left, and we've also got our welcome screen here. I'm going to click auto generate, though you can customize it if you want. 
I'll click auto generate and our slides are going to be created for us. And also at the bottom of the screen, there's going to be the speaker's notes. So if you use last tests, where you might have a group of very keen students that you do the introduction with first, they can then go out to their student groups and use the introduction speaker's notes as well to make sure that they are using the same terminology with their group as well. So the speaker's notes are here. You'll notice you can change the layout and the theme and everything using this button. Also, we can choose to jump into resources. So we've got our presentation materials, which are already created for us based on the specific lesson. And then we can choose our resources. And when we click them, it'll be generated automatically for us based on the lesson goals from our unit plan. And all of these can be clicked, can be edited, and also we can create differentiated versions in an unlimited fashion. If the reading level is too high in here, we'll simply click differentiate and then we'll tell it to lower the Lexile level, lower the reading level or add in some additional emphasis if we wanted that for us as well. We can also regenerate it if we want it to create this object again for us, this additional resource. You can also click create new resource and then choose one of these options and give it some guidance and then it can create that for you as well. So unlimited options of resources you can take. When we come back to the presentation here on our slides, you notice in the background it's creating the handouts. We just click on our slide and now we can use some of the features that are built in here. So I'm going to go back to our slides, click on our slide and we can add images or videos. When I click this, the images are kid-friendly, as are the YouTube videos. If the content being produced here is not exactly what you want, then we can actually click in this prompt and change it. Planet Earth. And it will instantly start, start searching for other images that are appropriate. When I click this image, TeachAid automatically recognizes that the formatting needs to be changed, the layout to fit our image in. So I can click change layout and automatically you can see that the image has been embedded with the layout changed. When I click on videos, the videos that are created as well, and I'm going to type in here planet earth. Automatically teach aid or find some other resources for us. Now, when I hit this video, because the video will take up the whole slide, I'm going to click create new slide. So now I've got my original slide and I've got my newly created slide with the video embedded into it. You can change some of the fonts and also you can change the layout and design as you want. So here's our slides. We've got our resources here, completely customizable. When I click to go back to the unit, um, we can change any of these and also if we're happy with our lesson one, just scroll down and click generate lesson two and so on and it will generate that for us and then we can create our interactive lesson materials as well that will support the lesson plan for us. So welcome to TeachAid, have a fantastic time using it, saving time focusing on a very rich pedagogical framework and linking it to your curriculum and customizing it as much as you want. I'm Dr. Craig and delighted to be with you on this journey.